What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's up, guys? How you living out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers, of course, man. Yeah, yeah man. So uh, I'm going to apologize now if I mispronounce the name. Am I Abaga? I believe is this uh, or, gentleman's or name. Abaja. Or Abaja. One of the two. Let us know. Let us know. So this rapper, man, was kind of brought to us. He kind of came up in conversation, man. George and I, we, we were working on something um, behind the scenes, man, with another guy you guys know, but I don't know if he wants to keep it under the wraps or not, you know, until he releases the project. So we're going to keep his name anonymous. But um, M.I. Abaga, or Baja, um, came up in that discussion, man, and we actually had no idea about this guy. Like, apparently, he's one of the, the dopest dudes on the continent. On the continent of Africa, apparently. <laughs> Just crazy. And we heard a verse from him, and... Um, Man, he went crazy on that verse. And that verse, bro, That was impressive, man. That's why we're here. That, like, perked up our ears. We're like, you know what? Maybe we should take a look at this we guy. We gotta take a look at this dude. <laughs> and um, so that verse is what brought us here. Um, you know, so shout out to, you know, that anonymous figure, man. Who, <laughs> you know, kind of somewhat uh, indirectly sort of uh, introduced us. Not indirectly, directly introduced us to uh, to this rapper, man. But apparently he's a big deal. Um, he's from Nigeria, I believe. CEO of Chocolate City. He's got like well, he's he won best hip hop, best new act yeah, at the man. 2009 MTV Africa Music okay. Awards. He was nominated in the best international act category at the BET Awards in 2010. And um, you know, you know, just to kind of name a few of his his accomplishments. And it seems like he's a veteran in the game. He gets a lot of respect. And uh, we've been really trying to because we've just were blown away. You know what I mean by a few artists there in the South African scene, man. We didn't know it was like that. So we uh, we made it a vow to ourselves to really touch that scene, Africa. Uh, expand our, our, our reactions a little bit internationally, man, to get a better feel for what's going on outside of, of America, man. So uh, give us some feedback, man. I don't know if this is the right song. This is the song that came up. We randomly just uh, searched him up on YouTube, and this song was one of the higher songs, you know, the higher uh, viewed songs. And the Viper just sounded cool to us. So I don't, you know, really know what's up with it. We like the artwork. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, we heard him spit, but we haven't heard, and it was on a beat that we were very familiar with, but we haven't really heard him put a song together. Yeah. So we know a lot of guys that could just write and rap their ass off, but when it comes to composing music, yeah. that's a different story. So let's see what uh what this is about. All right, let's get into it. Am I a baga or potentially a baja? Let us know if we're pronouncing it correctly. The Viper. 50 cents. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall break. So thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And so the viper wants to war with me. My OG uh, called and said, Yo, am I don't reward him, be remember. Building bridges been our priority. Remember who who's this? Um, bump, 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 Timberland. Missing. Oh yeah, that's right. Bump, that's bump, what it. Bump, bump, uh, bump. Uh, that was the shit, dude. Bump, bump, don't even get me started bump, on that. I don't even wanna. I don't wanna. So he be, he better destroy this beat. This that's beat. Vital. I don't know. It, well, it looks like it's a, a reiteration of the beat. Yeah, but still sure. though, that. But the, even the yeah. sample itself. <laughs> Timberland killed that sample. And for those of you who don't know, man, me and Ryan were just talking about Missy Elliott's "Socket to Me." She, uh, Timberland, the, the producer who produced that song, used that same sample, the bum 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 bum. Just to give y'all a little taste of it, man, so you guys can compare the beat. This is what got us crazy. Yeah, this this is one of the nastiest, nastiest beats to hot. this day. Yeah, was hot. The way he rocked the drums on this, the way he punched the drums in. Timberland, though, dude. It's a lot amazing. of people don't really yeah, talk. We, we, <laughs> Let, let's get into the song, but that's Missy yeah. Elliott. Sock it to me. Check that, that out. That shit was Similar, cold similar as production hell. to this uh, song, The Viper, man. That All shit right. Let's go. Let's get back to my man, M.I., man. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee, and in the end shall the gathering of the people be. And so the Viper wants to war with me. My OG called and said, Yo, M.I., don't reward him, be remember. Building bridges been our priority. Remember who you are, Judah, promise me. And so I swore by my hold name. On, hold, on, hold, no on, hold on, real quick. I'm going to let it. We're going to let this rock. So the Viper wants to war with me, huh? My OG called, said, uh, yo, am I? Don't reward him, B. <laughs> so I don't know if he's saying so don't reward him. Don't, don't, don't respond don't to him. Don't give him, don't give him a light, any light. So I guess this is a diss to somebody. So I guess they must have dissed him first, right? Because he said don't, don't even reward him. So don't even respond. So that's telling me that... Um, 
someone may have said something, maybe it was a tweet or a song or something like that. Don't even respond. Don't even reward him. Don't even respond to him because he, he ain't even on your level, so to speak. Okay. That's what that's saying to me. I don't know. I, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds don't like. Don't even right? reward him, man. Don't bless him with even. I'm like you know. running with the shit. <laughs> but it says here, exactly. But it says here, Judah, thou art he whom they, thy brethren shall praise. That thy hand shall be the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before, before thee. So is he? He's like, yo, man. Is they see? He's trying to say I'm in an in in, in your window in a sort of a slick way that this is this guy's my son, man. He's going to end up bowing before mm -hmm. me. So now we know that this is, seems to be a response a, to a diss or a diss. I don't know. Some kind of beef of some sort. Okay. You know. All right. Start it back up. But shall bow down before this, and in the end shall the gathering of the people be. And so the viper wants to war with me. My OG called and said, yo, am I don't reward him, be remember. Building bridges been our priority. Remember who you are, Judah, promise me. And so I swore by my name, cause there is no higher authority. I will not destroy you, instead I give you maturity. Your soul isn't clean, your heart is full of impurity. And jealousy, jealousy, nigga, jealousy, ah, yeah. This isn't a diss, this is truth. Listen, this is wisdom I'm giving to you, cause you my youth. You can never mm. battle you your default set in this lose. It's why I choose when you raise your alarm to hit that snooze. You always hated me. The very first line on your first single showed how you rated me. But Larry C, I've always rated you. You know be made to me, though you should look up to me like your pilot. I'm happy my son is taller. Doesn't mean you won't abolish chale. You've had a jealous heart. I'm sure it is a bar. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a hard <laughs> bar. So y'all gonna have to help us out, man. Help us out. Cause he, cause he said he's, you know, he's talking to him like he's his son. He's uh -huh. like, I'm happy my son is taller. Like you're growing up, you know me, but you're still my son. Doesn't mean you mm -hmm. won't debale, debale chale. So let us know what the, you know uh, Nigerians in the comment section, man, help us out with with that line, um, the language there. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. um, in terms of what that means? Because I think that there's a bar there. Right, right, That's right. He's, he's uh, referencing something that, he that we just can't. Get. And he was basically saying the dude was his son. So there's mm -hmm. there's there's some. Mm -hmm. There's a shot right there. We just don't mm -hmm. know exactly what, what that means language-wise. But then the um the alarm snooze was hard, right? This whole verse sounds like a dad mm -hmm. that's talking down to his son that wants to discipline him, but um but also help him and, and, and make sure that he learns from uh, from this, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the way it's coming <laughs> off, right? This isn't a diss. This is the truth. Listen, this is wisdom I'm giving you in case you could because you're my youth, man. You're my you're my my, my, my son. I'm your mm -hmm. OG, man. So let me help you, but also. Smack yeah. you a little bit. You don't. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Basically, I, yeah. that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting. From yeah. You. Like I don't think you really understand what you're trying to do, but I'm, let me help you. Let me help it. you. Let yeah, me your help you your soul is impure. Your soul is unclean. Your heart is full of impurity. And jealousy. Yeah. Let me cleanse you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me cleanse you. So, the, but the line that I really liked in here was, "You can never battle you. Your default setting is loose." That's why I choose uh, when you raise the alarm to hit the snooze. Mm -hmm. That was hard. When yeah. you raise the alarm, when you when you start barking and howling mm -hmm. at the moon, him being the moon, <laughs> I hit the snooze, man. I'm sleeping on you. I'm uh -huh. not even paying attention to you. And when he says your default setting is loose, I think you're lo a loose foundation is how I'm taking that line. I could be wrong. It could be, yeah. But mm -hmm. your default setting, like, you know, what where you are right now, your soul being unclean, you're not solid right yeah, now, yeah. man. You haven't built the correct structure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. You, my youth, you can never battle Jude. Your default set in is lose. It's why I choose when you raise your alarm to hit that snooze. You always hated me. Your very first line on your first single showed how you rated me. But Larry C, I've always rated you. You know, be made to me, though. You should look up to me like your pilot. I'm happy my son is taller. Doesn't mean you won't abolish, chale. You've had a jealous heart since you was a child. That's why everybody who loves you ends up used and defiled. You choose in denial, blaming everyone. One but yourself already fake when no one knew you and then fame didn't help look how you treated ysg when them niggas really believed in you fucking snake you always bite the hand of people feeding you hey you was your guy you did nothing to help him blossom no but since he's been around me that nigga been doing awesome yo your manager and cousin gave you all because he believed when you got arrested he sat in jail with you and wouldn't leave but us your head the odds got rid of nigga just like a weave and he still put you on a cv we gave him a job at ccc we ride by lifting others who you lifted nobody and all these years can say the vector put them in position wow you sinned against the order of heaven that's why god has brought you to me to be reborn and forgiven my nigga let's pray mm -hmm. baptizing them yeah basically trying to, trying to baptize basically lyrically basically yeah and you know um it, it's it's always um difficult for me man when i don't know the story you yeah. know um because you don't know if uh what is really truthful what really happened or if this that's just you uh um, what, what we used to call like capping and you just talking shit. You yep. know what I'm saying? Are you just really just, did these things really happen or is this 
something that you just think is true and it's just kind of like a rumor, you know? Yeah, give us some feedback yeah. on on what he's saying. I mean, is, are these facts, you know, from what you guys, uh, uh, or, or does he have, because it's hard to use facts, but does he have a solid um, foundation in what yeah. he's saying? That, okay, well, we, we get, from a public standpoint, you can see that these things are true and mm-hmm. uh, have truth in them. You know, let us know. I mean, obviously there's an entertainment value aspect of it uh, in these battles as well. But let us know, man. And let us know if it looks like we might be going down a rabbit hole to try yeah, to Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Get, get to Viper. I guess Viper's response. He kinda <laughs> that name though, that name's a handicap right now. Viper. The Viper yeah, the Viper. The snake. Yeah. Uh-huh. Even though he's like the Viper, like I'm I'm a I'm a you know, I'm yeah. a killer, I'm an attack. But now it's looking like you're a backstabber, how he's flipping it. So <laughs> what do you say uh at the end that verse though? He said you sinned against the order of heaven. That's why God has brought me to you to be reborn and forgive and, and forgiven. Let's pray, my nigga. <laughs> it's on my nigga, let's pray. Pray, pray. It's on, let, let me go ahead and, and ah, it's almost like he's the uh, angel of repercussions. Okay. Now, now you've called me down here, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and reset the uh, balance. Let me restore order. Right. Let, me, let, me ba- let me baptize you real quick. But I mean, you, you, you mentioned this, Ryan, man. You mentioned like you don't know what's a rumor. But I'll tell you this. I don't know if this is a rumor, but he's, he's got some pretty specific information mm-hmm. in here. Whether or not it's true or not is something that you guys are going to help us with. He said you got arrested. You sat, uh, and someone, I guess your manager, AQ, whoever, sat in jail with you and wouldn't leave. Mm-hmm. And he still put you on his CV. We gave him a job at CC. So these are pretty specific yeah. uh, detail points that he's making. Mm-hmm. So if I am a betting man, I would say that this is probably uh, some factual stuff going right. on here. But let us know in the in comments, <laughs> man. I swear by my name because there is no higher authority. I will not destroy you. Instead, I give you maturity. I'm trying to save your lifeline, Ray. That's my priority because you let jealousy, jealousy fuck your legacy up. Yeah, this isn't a diss. This is compassion. This is Papa talking to you instead of giving you lashing. I know your fans are going to demand that you revenge. But will they crowdfund for you when it's time to pay your rent? I'm willing and able. I put 20 million on the table. That's budget for you to spend. And CC will float your label. Just swallow your pride. Let me show you how to be king. You came with chickens to my spot, but did them Buy chicken wings, let your niggas fly. It's my spot, y'all can eat free food. Should be you waited for my reply, so let me CC you. You have a choice, take my hand and let me free you. I hear you're roasting in your girl's place, your beast BQ. You're not even top five from your robot land. Model D by Doda Green, Remy YC and Files. I'm on CVQ. And I'm the go to tell me what I gain if me beat you. I'd rather me teach you so you can reach. And no, that would never happen. <laughs> yeah, that was a good verse, though. That was. He had some lines in there, man. You know, the CC line on the right, you want to touch that. Yeah, yeah. You know, what did he say up top, though? He said, uh, this is Papa talking to you instead of giving you a lashing. Yeah. But before that, he said, yeah, you know, this isn't a this. This is compassion. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel bad for you. You know, you're a lost soul out here, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to provide the guidance like a father figure, like a, a higher yep. being mm-hmm. to get you on the right path. But the but but will they? He said, I know your fans are gonna demand that you get revenge, but will they crowd fund for you uh, when it's mm. time to pay your rent? All this shit, this revenge shit, and going back and forth, that's not gonna get you anywhere. Is how I'm taking it. Yep. It's literally, your fans could crowd fund you, but will they though? You know, or will this get you anywhere? Probably not. So I guess Shibi is somebody in his uh, circle. You know, he's like, you waited for my reply, so let me see, see you too. Let, let, let me give you some of this smoke too. Let me give you some of this, some of this backlashing as well. You know what I mean? I thought that was a hard slick. Pl- because it's, you know, a play on when you CC somebody in an email, you know, you're including them into whatever conversation that yep. you guys are talking so about. This so this is all, this is for you too. So let me, let me group everybody in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this y'all individually, man. This is for you too. <laughs> and I think the whole, the theme of this is just that uh, he's ruining his legacy. He's letting his, his jealousy and his hatred and his, um, and you know, all these, this bitterness uh, mess his career up or derail his career. Yeah. You know, so let's, let's get back to it. So he, he's trying to be that. That godlike figure, big homie, OG, whatever you want to call it, to get him right. I hear you're roasting in your girl's place, your beast BQ. You're not even top five from your robot land. Model D by Doda Green, Remy YC and Files, I'm on CVQ. And I'm the go to tell me what I gain if me beat you. I'd rather me teach you so you can reach. And no, that will never happen. So when you're old, your children ask you what happened Cause people laughing, just tell them daddy was jealous while rapping Daddy was jealous from birth, was jealous since I destroyed him Jealously looking at other sperm cells, wishing you choke him Daddy was jealous of your mother and that's how I fucked myself Daddy was jealous of am I, but damn, I should've yeah, stopped myself It's gonna be quick, but yeah. the, uh, he said when your kid, when your children ask you what happened Cause people laughing, just tell them daddy, daddy was, was jealous, jealous while rapping, rapping. Yeah. He said daddy was jealous from birth, was jealous inside the scrotum, scrotum. <laughs> 
jealously looking at other sperm cells, wishing Spurred you could choke them. them. Like damn. Like for damn. Before your inception. It's like you were innately born, born. to be a bitch nigga. To no, you jealous. <laughs> This is very true. This is yes. that, that is a, a perfect description of breaking. That's a perfect breakdown. Absolutely. So when you're old, your children ask you what happened because people laughing. Just tell them daddy was jealous while rapping. Daddy was jealous from birth, was jealous inside the scrotum. Jealously looking at other sperm cells, wishing you choke him. Daddy that's was awesome. jealous of your mother and that's how I fucked myself. Daddy was jealous of M.I. But damn, I should have stopped myself one day on stage and daddy started blabbing. The reason why is when M.I. and I would fly together, we'd sit in different cabins. So when daddy saw M.I. cipher and jealousy got the best of him, M.I. was telling Hennessy, pay the rappers who rap him. But daddy thought it was about him and tried to send him a message. And M.I. taught dad a lesson and daddy made full confessions. Then daddy stopped being jealous and daddy became a blessing. Daddy said, yeah, Tito and Boogie were disrespected. Then daddy's daddy, M.I. said, my son, your gift is special. Remember, just don't be jealous. God wants you to be your vessel, my son. <laughs> Daddy's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> he said, and then daddy's daddy am I. You know what I'm saying? This whole perspective of him, you know, uh, it, him talking to his children yeah, or whatever the case uh, may be. Like, you know, like, what he's saying, man, you know, and he's saying a lot here. But it's like, dude, you're, you're going to be an embarrassment to your kids, man. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. look at what your kids would think of your behavior, man. Mm -hmm. You acted like a straight up. Bitch. Yeah, dude. That's what Ryan said throughout this, you know? <laughs> but I think he painted that picture so well, you yeah, know? Yeah, he did. And then what did he say here when he said, uh, Daddy was jealous of your mother, and that's how I fucked myself? Yeah, that was slick. That's a slick little play on words and, and perspective, right? Because he's talking to his son, but he had to have sex with his son's mother, mother to, to create the child. Mm -hmm. But he was jealous of her, so he fucked, fucked himself. himself. That, that, was, that was a slick way to put that, that whole scheme together. Mm -hmm. So to me, not even knowing the... Um, the, the, the having a reference point of the beef and what's going on and really not having the whole perspective. He really brought this perspective scheme to life. Yep. It was just, yeah, this it's about was about an argument. This was scathing here. Even right here when he said the, the one one day on stage and daddy started blabbing, he said the reason why is when M.I. and I would fly together, we would sit in different, different cabins. cabins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was in first class. Yeah, he was back in coach, so he was salty. Exactly. He couldn't be in first class uh -huh. instead of being happy to be on a plane in general. I'm telling you. Be happy, to, you know, your, your time will come, but he let jealousy get the best of him. Mm -hmm. Killing him. Yeah, we're going to have to hear um, um, the Viper's response, though, man. We'll, we'll do the Viper, man. Get, get us that response. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we can, we, we, <laughs> we got to be fair. But all I know is, without us knowing too much, the way that this was constructed yeah. was ah. dope. Full confessions, then daddy stopped being jealous, and daddy became a blessing. Daddy said, yeah, Tito and Boogie were disrespected. Then daddy's daddy, M.I. said, my son, your gift is special. Hey, hey. Remember, just don't be jealous. God wants you to be your vessel, my son. <clears throat> you mean, all this noise and seizures is because you didn't get a feature, nigga, damn. I'm always helping people shine. You got the same platform. Worry about yours, not about mine, my nigga, damn. I still love you like a son, so I promise that you can diss me how you want. I won't respond to you. But after dropping your diss track, I hope you sit and listen back to everything that M.I. spat because it's true. It's better to give than to receive, and so I'm giving you for free a gift. And between you and me, you know I'm right. So give them what they want to see. Get all your memes and your retreats, but just don't only win the beef, win in life. They call me short man at the headies, and I could have been real petty, but my head is always heavy from the ground. Jack City Warner doing biz, and now my shares can help you feed your kids when you sign. I built that from the ground. You came and drank at the place I own. I'm trying to help you get your own line. Ray, I represent the higher power. I represent the voice of God to you. Focus. So all these years, you ain't helped one person. You ain't put one person on, you ain't signed nobody. There's no manager, no artist, no fashion designer, nobody connected to you doing well. It's because your heart is fucking bitter. Psalms 1. Go read Psalms 1, bro. If you were right, you would blossom and the people around you would be blessed. My brother, not calm, not calm. Oh, they go. I know I see. This has to be the only one. Not this guy. Yeah, this, there's Islam. a lot to touch, and we're not gonna get calm. to it. We're gonna get to it. There's a lot to touch, man. But one thing that I, I that I got out of this, as I was 
especially this last verse, is that I really b- believe he's genuinely trying to help He's this got guy. love for him. He's, he's got, got love, love for him. him. Yeah. And but this is exactly how I would, if someone really did me wrong, this is how I would talk to a family member. Like, like, I, yep. I'm, like I'm really like trying to, I mean, I'm going I'm to I'm oh, discipline you yeah. to let you know that you're on some, some bullshit. But like, I'm going to come from a place of love at the same time while I'm smacking you around. Man, you know, I really enjoyed this, uh, George, man. There's a lot that I want to say, but one thing I want to touch on right now that had me cracking up at the end is he said, um, he's all, man, all these years, you ain't helped not one person. He's all, not a manager, not an artist, a fucking fashion designer, a fucking barber. You ain't put nobody on nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't helped nobody do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it was funny, but the, what, what I got out of that is um, what you just said. He cares about him. It's like, dude, you have to give back, man. You haven't done anything for anybody. Yep. And it's important, man, because you can't really um, grow an empire, so to speak, if you don't reach out and help people at the same time, man. And then one line I want to touch real quick, man, before we end the video, man, because it's, you know, I, I call it goal-oriented rapping, man, when you, when, you, when you throw these little slick lines from a boss perspective, man, because he owns that Chocolate City as his record label. I think that's what we saw on the wiki, right? And he said, uh, Chocolate City, Chalk City is what he said, and Warner doing business, I'm assuming Warner Brothers um, is doing business. He said, my shares can now help you feed your kids when you sign. You know what I'm saying? So again, that's a stunt line. That's a big boy boss talk like, dude, I got labels and this and that. So come on over when you sign, you know, my I can help you as you trying to diss me. I can help you feed your kids. So I'm still helping you, but that's still a slick line saying that I'm still over you and you still don't know who you really messing with. But come on over, man. I'm going to help you feed your kids for generational wealth. But I'm going to show you that you need me to do it. But I love how he said, man, um, he's like, you know, he, he obviously this is a diss here, but he's like, I'm not even responding, man. He's just like, you, it, it's not about winning a battle. You know what I mean? Win at life. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Again, kind of tying into what we've been saying about him really wanting him to, to help. And this is the thing about disses, man. When, when we, we talk about disses and, um, you know, we did a, a pretty famous diss on this <laughs> channel that we got a lot of shit for, you know, but but there's one, it's one thing to come and just rap. And have a lot of punchlines and metaphors and this and that and hit people with, yep. you know, multi-syllables and all this other stuff and show your technical skill in rapping. And that's great. And if both parties are rapping in that way, then we can judge technical who, yeah. who was better technically. Exactly. But when one party is getting personal and using angles and, and really just diving into someone's um, whole history and unearthing uh, their their personal flaws as a human being. That is what resonates with me, man. You know, I, I appreciate skill, but and yeah. th- th- this was skillfully done as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There were bars in there, right? The, yep. the alarm snooze line and, yep. the, you know, the son, the daddy perspective and the angles. You know, there yeah, was that skill. That whole scheme was crazy. Yeah, this, there was skill in this. You know what I mean? But he got personal. He gave, he really, he really unearthed. He really exposed some of the flaws in this dude's game. He's mm-hmm. like, dude, he talked about... You know, these are all these people around you, man. You had a little bit of success, but yet all these people around you in your camp mm-hmm. didn't, they, they didn't benefit from it. So you're not helping people. And then some of those same people join my team and then I got them a bag. Yep, exactly. And that can be verified, <laughs> right? So, yep. I mean, how do you, how can you talk? What can you say to me? Exactly. You know, and that's what I look at. I look at like, at the end of the battle, man, who do I not want to be? And right now, I don't want to be the Viper. I'm you know what I'm saying? You. Who yep. made who look less than? Yep. Not who just was technically saying um, just more skill, who made who look the worst. Yep. That's what y'all should be looking at on who won the battle. So salute, man. He that was hard. It. That was hard, man. I think uh, J. Cole, to, to kind of uh, piggyback on you, uh, bringing that full circle about the painting the picture of who have you helped around your, uh, mm-hmm. your team. I think J. Cole said it best in uh, Middle Child when he said, what good is first class if my niggas can't sit? That's right. What good is all this money if I'm not sharing it with anybody else? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You're gonna be uh, a whole. You're gonna have a whole bunch of money by yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. a great life, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. So yeah, give us some um, some uh, uh, feedback on the Viper, man. We got to get a Viper a fair shake. That's true. You know, right now that was. Pretty, I'm excited. That's pretty strong. I'm excited. That this was pretty strong. That's I don't know what people are saying about it, but to us, that's a very strong diss, man. Mm-hmm. A lot of dimension and layers in mm-hmm. there. Um, with the religious uh, aspect, him being his dad, yet mm-hmm. his godlike figure, meaning wanting to help, compassion, mm-hmm. him having personals. That was a very good diss. And so it give wasn't, us, he didn't motherfuck him to death either. No, he didn't need to. You know what no, I'm saying? No, it was just straight up facts. Yep. You know, so give us some feedback on what uh, uh, what we should be listening to from the Viper so we can really give a, a fair comparison, man. I'm excited though, like Ryan said, I'm excited to hear what the uh, the Viper has to offer, man. So yeah, that's man. it, man. Very, very uh, good introduction to him. That M. was cool. Don't, still don't know where he's at. 
this is a diss, so I'm not gonna like put this in the song category. Yep. So we still need to hear like music, music from him. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? But this was still, I mean, two Solid. for two, two Solid. for two from from Mr. Mi, man. Yeah, man. Salute to Nigeria, all the African uh, subs that Stand we have, man. Y'all always support us, man. So we want to keep on top of the fact that we just really enjoy your artists. We want to keep. Um, delving into to that scene, man. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out. We out.